Hi friendly fans, this is part 234 of the My Little Pony game. Last time I bought Trixie and so now it's time to welcome her to Ponyville. This is for my Cloud Days account, which is where I work on all my quests, so I didn't have Trixie yet. A traveling magician and one mare show, Trixie likes to show off and exaggerates about her magical abilities. I'm also going to welcome Wide-Eyed Villager to Canterlot. My daughter uh, won this on the balloon pop for me. This is a really cute character. I love this white unicorn with pink hair. Is she surprised? Does she have something in her eyes? Or is she just looking at something far away? It's hard to say with this pony, but hopefully she gives those lids a rest soon. Now that we've welcomed her to Canterlot, we're going to play the telescope mini game with her. And it's really important to level up your ponies um, and get those stars because with those stars come prizes and you can get gems and you can get special items. You can get items for dressing up your pony. And this is sort of like a connect the dots game. It's really fun and you get cute little pictures and constellations in the sky. It looks like our final score is 245. With the multiplier, it's 2,205. Next, we're gonna hop over to Sweet Apple Acres. Getting Perfect Pie was one of our quests and I finally collected enough of those pie tokens to get her. So let's go ahead and welcome her to Sweet Apple Acres. And let's check out Perfect Pie's bio. With a name like Perfect Pie, it's no surprise this pony's as sweet as they come. I like her little bonnet. I'm going to do a little shopping. I think we need to buy Apple Rose. She is 75 gems. It looks like the Appleseed Farmhouse will take about 9 hours to complete. It's really helpful to check in on your store and earn some of these tokens for characters that you're going to want in the future as well. Over the last few weeks, I've also earned enough of these microphone tokens to go ahead and get Countess Coloratura. So here she is coming to Sweet Apple Acres. This was also part of one of our quests. Let's check out her bio. She is the greatest pop star in all of Equestria. Ponies will come from all over to be dazzled by her stage show, even Princess Celestia. So now that that's complete, let's go ahead and check on our quest, A Friend in Need. We need to send Coloratura to rehearse a new song for three hours. And we welcomed Perfect Pie for another helping of Perfect Pie. And we need to play the apple picking game. I wonder if it counts if we just play the ball bounce game because she's ready for that one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. I'll play the ball bounce game with Perfect Pie. And if this doesn't work for the quest, I could always skip it with gems. With the multiplier, I got 18,983. Yay, that's actually enough to give us all five stars for Perfect Pie. Let's go back and check in on our quest and see if that helped us. Yes, we finished another helping of Perfect Pie. Mmm, these apples taste great. I can't wait to make them into something even more delicious. And now it looks like we have a new quest from Granny Smith. The Grand Reopening Party. I, I kinda can't believe it. Thanks to you, Sweet Apple Acres looks, why, it looks better than ever. We gotta celebrate. For this quest, we have to buy one leafy patch. And we have to buy a rodeo enclosure. But before we do that, I want to um, expand and make a little more space here in Sweet Apple Acres. Now we have some space to put our leafy patch and rodeo enclosure. The rodeo enclosure costs 25 gems, but luckily I have enough here. We have a green little check mark, so let's go back to our quest. Yeehaw! I hope you're a fan of my apple pie, because I'm going to make sure you never run out. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to speed this up for you, but I am going to fill in all this space with the paths so that the clearable items don't pop up. And it looks like I'm finished with another quest, a friend in need. 
I don't know what Applejack's talking about. That song was awesome. Except for the weak bass line and the really simple chorus and... Hmm. Hello, fans! To kick off the Helping Hooves Music Festival, have some hoofsies to take home with you. Straight from your pal, Countess Coloratura. Now let's check out this new quest. Hoofsies for every pony. They're just like autographs, only more collectible. And be sure to catch my main stage show later on in the festival, where I'll debut my new hit single. So we need to produce hoofsies in the Big Apple stage. We have one waiting for us now. Let's go ahead and collect that. And we're going to have to do that three more times to complete this quest. She's hidden back there, but we're also going to welcome Apple Rose to Sweet Apple Acres. Here's a closer look at her since she was hidden before, and let's read her bio. Apple Rose is a pony whose nose knows where to go for the best apples in Equestria. Sweet Apple Acres, of course. So today, obviously, I'm working on my pony collection, so I am going to purchase Apple Cobbler. She costs 10,000 bits. While we're waiting on Apple Cobbler, let's go and check up on Kids Play, the limited time story we were working on. For the Rainbow Dash boss battle, we need a t recommended power of 1,284. I have 1,396, so let's go ahead and do that. And of course, if you've been following along, you need to hit these targets in order to defeat Rainbow Dash. We want to avoid those bombs. I went ahead and X'd it out by tapping before the arrow got to it. These boss battles take a while, so I'm going to kind of skip to the end. Alright, so we defeated the Rainbow Dash doubles. We don't want to defeat the real Rainbow Dash. And for winning team effort, we get Pony Yona. I think that's the last of them, right? No more mean clones? Can I come out from under the bed? All right, let's go ahead and place Pony Yona. She belongs in Ponyville. Phew, what a head rush. I'm finally thinking straight thanks to these little guys. Trixie, is this some kind of weird trick you came up with? Giving us wild epiphanies or whatever? Well, well, sort of. As much as I'd like to claim I put you all back together, I have to admit it was the work of your younger doubles. Like, entirely. But unfortunately, er, uh, they're doubles too. To undo the spell, they'll have to disappear. Uh, oh. Aww, do they really have to go? Younger me had some really great material. It's okay, y'all. We're not really disappearing. We're part of you. Yes, it's not like we're going anywhere. Besides, I'd certainly like to remember all the fashion forward fineries I think up when I'm older. In that case, hmm, let's all go back to normal. So after I finished with all the boss battles, you get the magic chest. And this just gives you an opportunity to max out your hero and also collect more of those purple coins. Ooh, I almost forgot to come back and welcome Yona, Pony Yona. Yona is great just the way she is, but if you're curious to see what she'd look like as a pony, well, here you go. And I think she's adorable. I love this pony character. It, it worked, it worked. I wasn't actually sure it would. Maybe I should table this particular party trick for my next show though. Perhaps. But nothing puts things into perspective quite like a chat with your inner filly, does it? Too true. I guess we can't always talk to them face to face, but it's comforting knowing that they're always with us. So I do play with two accounts for my Cloud Days account. I got 30 gems and my community rank was 178. That means I got these fashionable outfits. We'll see what they're really called here in a second. And I also got 20 gems. Okay, so that reward is actually called Fabulous Costumes. And here is a closer look at those. So cute. I think this is actually what Rarity uh, designed when she was a little filly for the play. 
I've been playing on my Randolph Cake account for a lot longer, so I actually got 44 for my community rank. I have more pony helpers. So for this one, I got the top reward, which was a shop. The new shop is called The Party Barn. It belongs in Sweet Apple Acres, so let's go over there. Oh cool, it's like a little carousel. Definitely a party barn. I have to find a place for it to go. This is in my line of little shops. I'm gonna make a space for it. Pinky Apple is definitely here to check it out. Let's go ahead and place that. It's gonna take 10 hours, but since I have VIP points, I'm gonna use my free VIP points let you skip building a building, I think, once a day. Let's check out some of the other things I have. I've been working on rearranging my areas of Equestria, my little towns, so that's why there's so many things in my inventory. But I have one new shop, the Fantastique Theater. It goes in Canterlot, so let's go ahead and place that as well. Ooh, so cool. I got this on a group quest. My canter lot is very full, but I think I have a space here where it would fit. The Fantastic Theater takes about four and a half hours to build. And I can't believe this. I actually have two more shops in my inventory. I'm not sure if I placed these by mistake when I was um, rearranging my Ponyville, but I've got to get those back in my Ponyville so they can produce the bits and shards that they produce. Let's play some Equestria Balloon Pop. And let's see what we get. Oh, we got a couple of those flower gems for dressing up our ponies. We can play Magical Balloon Pop. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> I got some decorations, nothing life-changing there. And I can play Royal Balloon Pop. I got another well, I have plenty of those. I wish we had gotten a pony, but let's play some Friendship Balloon Pop. Ooh, I got a gem. That's pretty cool. Now it's time to go back to Cloud Days and welcome Apple Cobbler. There's a closer look at Apple Cobbler. She reminds me a lot of Applejack. Another one of Applejack's many pony relatives who has an apple brown Betty for a cutie mark. And this week I got one more new character. Let's go ahead and welcome him to Kluge Town. His name is Hefty Kluge Towner. Whatever you do, don't call him an overgrown grape. He's heard it before, and it really hurts his feelings. And friendly fans, that is the end of part 234 of the My Little Pony game. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell for notifications. I love you friends, and I hope you have a fabulous day.